What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another interview edition of Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, and today we have with me Geo, the founder of Unilayer, a layer two solution for Uniswap to make decentralized trading more robust, easier, and of course, more profitable. How are you doing today, Geo? Good. How are you, Nick? Thanks for having me. Pretty good. Pretty good day today. Excited to learn more about Unilayer and allow my community to learn more about Unilayer as well, especially now with more and more people uh, trading over on Uniswap. Uh, it'll be interesting to see why you guys think you you will provide an edge to your users. Um, I guess if you want to start, can you give a brief background on yourself and why you decided to launch Unilayer? Yeah, uh, well, I've been in crypto for the uh, last couple of years. I started buying Bitcoin when it was uh, literally at the crash of Mt. Gox. Um, I, I think it was around February 2014. Uh, it was pretty bad two years, I think, of, of bear market. Uh, on Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, I had to learn the hard way. Uh, but as far as my uh, you know expertise, I have a degree on business marketing. So I've been in business my whole life, pretty much. I have run successful businesses uh, where I'm from. And uh, I decided, you know, to leap and take the leap and uh, start my own crypto project. And the reason why I built Unilayer was because I've been you know, buying a lot of these projects on Uniswap and I've been seeing that I wish I could just buy like, put like a, you know, a limit order or something. And there was no option for that. So that's where the idea came from. And uh, we decided to go on the layer two solution on top of Uniswap uh, because Uniswap is beautiful. We love it. And then everybody uses it now. Uh, but we, why not improve it? You know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. We could literally re improve all the things that we want to have on Uniswap and uh, on and more. We have lending. Uh, we have, uh, you know, flash staking, we have a lot of DeFi tools, and uh, especially we have a really easy to use uh, user interface that, that some of you guys might have seen. Um, and uh, yeah, we have uh, automatic trading, we have so many features. Uh, we're not just only a UI on top of Uniswap, we're right. more. Yeah, my next question was gonna be, what is Unilayer, but you kind of already went into it there. And it it sounds like yes. it's going to be it's going to be a nice tool uh, to be able to use on top of Uniswap to make it feel more like uh, these centralized exchanges, but allowing it to interact with Uniswap and still maintain that decentralized uh, component, um, but allow people to better manage uh, their trading and their assets over on Uniswap with all these promising projects launching over there. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we are pretty much. Uh... A solution for everyone you know um, we're making it easy for the regular uh, you know day-to-day -day trader uh, they, they need you know the charts they need the order books they need to be able to put like schedule buys and sells or you can also remove your liquidity at certain thresholds uh, we have all these tools uh, we also have a, a portfolio tracker so you can know uh, what your portfolio is looking like uh, how much has your portfolio grown since you first started investing uh, we have a lot of things you know professional um, trading tools that make that could bring uniswap to the next level um, yeah it sounds really interesting i know a lot of things you just mentioned are, are things that people are used to having on a binance for example but just don't have uh, that capability as of now on uniswap um, I know there are some competitors trying to build similar tools. Uh, I'm not really going to name them because I don't want to give them the spotlight here, but you know, we all know who they are and what kind of differentiates Unilayer from some of these other uh, potential competitors. And are you striving to be first to market with your platform? What is the time well, uh, looking like on that? Well, as, as, as you've, I mean, as I've stated before, uh, we have a lot more than just a UI and, you know, like limit orders and, and uh, charts and, and order books. That's what most of our competitors are offering right now. They're pretty much just a UI built on top of Uniswap. Uh, we have a lot more than that. You know, we have a lot of utility for, for the layer token. Uh, for example, um, everything that, all the fees that we collect on ETH uh, from the trading platform, 92% of those fees go to the uh, stake, uh, uh, the people staking a uh, layer on the platform. And uh, eight percent goes to the you know foundation, and we also on flash staking. We onboard projects that want to, for example, do like an initial airdrop. Uh, they could initially airdrop like two percent of their total supply, or one point five, or two point five, whatever the case may be. All of that ninety ninety two percent of that goes to all the people staking uh, as an as a flash staking reward. Literally, you get it right away. 
And um, depending how long you're staking, if you're staking for a period of over 30, 30 days or so, uh, you get uh, you know largest uh, a bigger reward. And if you're staking more layer than others, you also get a large largest uh, piece of the pie. So we're doing a lot of things for utility. Uh, we're going to be announcing a new utility uh, use case for layer on 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 Friday. It's going to be on our white paper. I think it's going to be game changer, uh, to put it that way. Uh, there's nothing out there right now that is doing it on Uniswap. So we'll definitely be the first. As far as releasing the product, our timeline is by the end of September. Uh, we've been developing for last last, last week now. And development's going well. Uh, we should have development updates in the next few days. Uh, but yeah, everything's going well. Yeah, it sounds like some exciting times ahead, guys. Today is 825 on Tuesday. Um, so I think over the next few days, maybe this week, we're going to see some exciting news about a new exchange listing. They're hinting at a white paper on Friday and more utility options of Layer on Friday as well. So it'll be nice to stay tuned uh, and see how uh, Layer continues to build. And, it, you know, it seems like you're trying to provide more utility for Layer, but also incentivize people to hodl their Layer for longer amount of periods of times to get more rewards uh, from those holdings as well. Um, I know the pre-sale and the public launch both went extremely well for Layer. Um, people who are involved in pre-sale are currently up in price uh, pretty well. I know you probably don't want to talk about price dis discussion, but a lot of people want to know what's going on there. And you kind of touched base on some of the utility of Layer that you guys have envisioned. Um, do you think the utility that you've already created and just discussed is really going to provide a nice baseline for Layer and uh, get people using that token on your platform? Or is it more just a uh, uh, incentives for people to hodl it? Like, do they need layer for a subscription fee or the, can they use it for trading fees or anything like that at this point? Absolutely. Um, to answer that question, um, it, I don't like to compare layer to other projects, but if you look at what BNB did with Binance, that's what we're going for. Uh, we're going to make sure that people that are holding layer and uh, on, on, on our platform, they can save uh, money on trading fees. Um, obviously, you cannot um, rewrite the code on Uniswap, so th their fee is pretty standard. You cannot take that fee off. So obviously, all all the you know projects that are building on top of Uniswap, they will have an additional fee on top of that. But with that fee comes all the tools that we're offering. So if you're holding Layer, uh, you will have less fees than others that are not holding Layer. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like uh, not only you will have you know less cost per trade while you're holding layer there's a lot of range of utility that i just mentioned to you plus the one that we're going to be coming out on friday that will make you want to hold layer uh for the long term <laughs> all right sounds like uh probably need to load up a little more on the bags here for layer guys uh so i mean a question i do receive a lot on a lot of whether it was icos in 2017 ios in 2018 or now these Uniswap presale and public launches, what has your team already used some of the presale funding for? And then what do you plan on using uh, a lot of that presale funding for moving forward? I know a lot of these projects are raising uh, quite a bit of money pretty rapidly. Um, so people would just wanna know what the team has planned for all those e funds in ETH. Well, um, as you may know, I. I have a lot of connections in crypto. I, I know a lot of exchanges, all the people like the people that actually manage the exchanges, I know them personally. So uh, a lot of those funds are obviously going to go to pay for exchange listings. And uh, most of the funds are going to go for development. Obviously that's the whole point of why you raise funds, you know, to, to develop the platform. Uh, but yeah, I do have some good connections with marketing and, and exchanges. So. A good chunk of that's going to go to that, so you, sh you guys should be expecting some good exchanges soon. Um, but most importantly, the most important part is to fund the development and make sure we deliver a good product. Yeah, that is very important. Get your, make sure that product is uh, out there, usable, and working properly from day one. As you, you know, you don't want any issues with uh, people's trading funds, and that's a good way to. Uh, kind of get a negative impression, bad taste in the mouth for your project if that's what happens. Um, I know also with a lot of your pre-sale funds, you guys did lock in liquidity on Uniswap. So a lot of people fear rug pulls on Uniswap, but I believe you guys did lock it in and you did lock it in for something like 90 days to start. Is that accurate? Yeah, we, we locked it for 90 days um, and we will be adding more liquidity as we, we see fit. Um, but yes, we did lock it for 90 days. And also we 
we refunded the excess ETH. You know, uh, there's a lot of people that are afraid of rug pulls, and I, you know, obviously understand why because there's been a lot. But I mean, um, we're here for the long term. Uh, we refunded the excess ETH. We locked the liquidity. So, you know, there's we're we're here to build. Right. Most importantly. Right. Yeah. So Unilayer seems like a, it's going to be a great platform for those to for those of us who trade on Uniswap. Uh, this was just a quick intro video to the Unilayer project, to the layer token and the utilities that token will have. Uh, did you did I miss anything, Geo, that you want to let the audience know about? No, you did a pretty good job. A plus. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want more information, uh, head over to unilayer.app. That website will also be in the description below. Um, of course, you can ask questions uh, to me on Twitter and the private Discord or whatever it may be. I'm excited to get this information on Unilayer out there. And uh, I'm sure we'll have to revisit and do another interview once you start uh, dropping some of these exchange listings and the white paper information on Friday. Absolutely, guys. Make sure you um, have a read at the white paper. Uh, there's going to be a pretty good surprise in there. And uh, we're going to be announcing a, a pretty good partnership uh, with a project that um, we feel that it's, it's doing great things in the crypto space overall, especially with Uniswap. I love getting you on here. I love getting a little bit of these hints uh, before the news comes out, allowing our, our viewers to kind of get a little head start on the public. And that's all we got today, guys. So until next time, stay tuned for your daily updates on cryptocurrencies right here at Learn Crypto.